Hello and welcome back to the another video of the Java tutorial series. So today we are covering uh, static keyword in Java. So the static keyword in Java is used for the memory memory management purpose only. And we can you apply the static keyword with variables, methods, block, nested classes. Uh, like so for, for example, one method is there ABC. I can write static method uh, ABC. Uh, one variable I have to declare integer A static int A that that is how I can do it and the static keyword belongs to the class that an instance of the class okay the static can be a, vari a variable can be static and a method can be static okay so we will see some basic sy syntax how the static variable is declared inside the class uh, let's suppose we have class class student and inside this integer roll number uh, variable name roll number is there of type int string name and college uh, string college ITS this is a simple class with that we have declared an example of static variable okay we will see one example uh, in our uh, IDE and before that you have to here is a pictorial represent representation of the how static uh, variables are work okay so here where we have declared one two variables s1 and s2 and inside the stack memory s1 and s2 are there and heap memory is there uh, s1 and s2 are object of that class student and here you can see we have created two objects s1 and s2 inside stack memory and inside heap memory uh, id 111 is there and name current for s1 uh, s1 object and for s2 object uh, id 222 and name aryan is there okay uh, and inside okay wait a minute guys okay so where we are here we have created uh, two objects s1 and s2 and uh, we have assigned the value uh, for id and name for each of the objects and here you can see uh, one static uh, uh, variable called college of type string is declared and college name is ITS okay so this is the class area and this is how the static uh, static variables are work uh, college ITS is assigned to both of those object s1 and s2 okay and and these objects are uh, separate the college name ITS is separate it, this is not inside the heap memory this is actually inside the class area this is how the static static variables work and we will see one example of the static method so that you can understand it clearly okay wait okay so let's get into our ide and see one example of the static method okay so here i am inside my ide let me just click here new java class new java class and i will declare it as okay, wait. static method okay and inside this i will write let me just increase the font size okay and now it Okay, so here I have declared one uh, static method. Let me import my main method. Ah, yes, okay. Now, okay, let me get here inside this. Okay, uh, let me create one class name as calculate. Oh, wait, let me do all those stuff inside this itself. Okay, I will declare one static variable int cube x. Okay, not this. You know what? Let me get another example so that you, you guys can understand it more clearly. Okay, let me just create class student our this one this i will i have take i am taking this example itself okay class student is example okay so that you guys you guys can understand more clearly okay and i will declare one int roll number and after that string name for holding the student name and i will declare one static variable here a uh, static string college 
is equal to ITS. Okay, I have declared it as a static. So this is a this this will be stored inside the class area, not the heap memory. And all the object uh, all the objects are get into the stack area. Okay, here and after this I will write static. Oops, sorry. Static void change. This is one method, and I'm changing my college name to something known as let's suppose BBDIT. This is a random string, okay? And here I will declare one constructor for this class. Uh, so I hope you guys know how to declare the constructor, how to create a constructor. And uh, for this constructor, I'm requiring one two two parameters. One is R. R represents as the roll number of the student and the string and I represent the name of the student. Okay. And now inside this, I will assign those uh, values to the variables that I have declared over here. R and uh, name equals to n okay so now i have declared one created one variable declared the constructor okay mm. now i will create one another way method name void display and inside this method i will just print the my roll number and okay so i will write roll number concat it with the roll number that we have declared over there and again name and then i will assign the name it as name okay this is pretty much this method is going to do and inside my main class that is this static method class with where we have declared our main method uh, i will write i will create one variable or uh, sorry, we're not variable object. Okay, I will create the object of that class. Uh, I will write student dot first of all change. Okay, and after that, I will create a student uh, s1. I will create first object of this uh, class, and I have to pass two. Uh, we, uh, parameters because it, uh, the constructor is accepting accepting the two parameters over here over here you can see okay? uh, one one is type of string and one is type of integer so let's suppose i'm writing zero one as my roll number of that student and name of that student is something harry and i will similarly i will create uh, two more object of this class one goes here one goes here I, I have to give name some different name to this object s1 s2 s3 and these students have roll numbers like this and one's name is J one's name is Viru okay so these are the students uh, and I have created those variable no, objects also now I have to do uh, I have to display the name and uh, roll number of the students for that I have created a separate function or the method s1 dot display s2 dot display s3 dot display okay all these methods will called and according to that uh, roll number and name of the student gets printed on the console okay uh, now if i run run this code uh, oops sorry uh, i have run the previous code itself let me run this this one oh okay so here you can see roll number one name harry roll number two name j roll number three uh, name viru okay and now let me hide this terminal this is pretty much about the static uh, keyword and static variable and i go i hope you guys uh, have got some idea about the static keyword uh, so in our upcoming videos we will uh, look into the this keyword in java 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो